press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Welcome back. This is Holy Land Uncovered, and I'm Tal Heinrich. Have you ever heard about the secret of Ayurveda? It's an ancient medical practice based on herbs and flowers. Ayurveda is associated with Eastern Asian cultures. Nevertheless, it is highly popular around the world and even here in the Holy Land. I-24 News correspondent Shelby Weiner has more. Doing yoga has become trendy in Western society in recent years. The physical and spiritual practice dates back over 5,000 years to ancient India. And the trend is blossoming even further here in Israel. People in Israel are more aware for the, the, the Indian culture. Things come from uh, India, like yoga, of course. And now it's the, the next step is the Ayurvedic medicine. Ayurveda is one of the oldest holistic healing systems on the planet. The treatments are based in natural herbs and minerals, and experts consider it to be the sister of yoga. Both are important to many Eastern religions, which stress the importance of healthy lifestyles. It's a disease condition, and it does not allow us to go to that phase. And before going to the proper yoga, we have the uh, required health. And for that, I will do something. Ayurveda has been present in the background of Israeli society for many years, but some say recently it has needed rejuvenation. I found that its presence in Israel is dwindling, like it was there earlier, but now uh, it's not there in, you know, in a significant way. So I wanted to work uh, on that to revive. The Indian Embassy hosted a conference to do just that. The seminar connected Israeli and Indian researchers to focus on the science of Ayurveda. Many Israeli physicians working in integrative medicine are hoping to further research in Israel. The medical establishment, we want to uh, get to know the Ayurveda better so we can have more herbs imported to Israel, which are our tools of treatment. The conference comes after a memorandum of understanding was signed last year by the government of India and Tel Aviv's medical center. It seems that the Ayurveda lifestyle will soon be following the yoga and spirituality trend to Israel. Shelby, I was familiar with the name Ayurveda as a type of massage, but here you're saying it's more than that. It's a lifestyle. Yes, it's much more. The, the massage is one component of it because it's all about wellness and a healthy being. And the belief in this system is that massage is integral to that because your body needs to feel good and there's certain pressure points that you can massage and help alleviate other symptoms. But past the massage, it's also diet and it's also natural medicine. So they make a wide variety of medicine from things that are found in nature, very organic, homeopathic approach to medical care. So a lot of plants and minerals and things that you can find naturally coming from the earth. And they combine all of this together with the focus on spirituality as well to give this holistic well-being lifestyle. So what's the purpose of it? What's uh, the agenda of, if it has an agenda, the, if I can call it this way? I would say the agenda is mind, body, and soul. And it's something that really links to Eastern culture. Most of the religions there think that it's very important part that health and faith go hand in hand. In order to be able to worship and meditate and practice your religion towards God, you need to have a healthy being as well. So because of that, they've been intertwined for centuries. It's a whole philosophy, according Ex to what you're saying. Yes, exactly. And it's deeply rooted in the Vedic culture. It goes back for thousands of years. In fact, Ayurveda is the longest standing holistic health system in the world. And we see evidence it, of it through the religions all over the place. One example is with Buddhism. There's references to Ayurvedic medicine in Buddhist texts. So you can see how important, how influential this is on Eastern religions. And as those are starting to mingle and migrate, we're getting more of a fusion of culture around the world. We're starting to get a trickle down effect of some of these other things. So not just the yoga, which now is all over the place, but we're right. starting to see some of these other aspects too. And combination between different types of... Exactly. 
So how popular is it here in Israel, I'm wondering? Right now, it's in the beginning stages. They're taking the seed and they're hoping to make it grow. So there was just a partnership signed with the government office in India, which is in charge of Ayurvedic medicine, to start bringing more and more research here to Israel's hospitals. They've already begun testing a few things. The main one is turmeric or curcuma. And they found that it has incredible antibiotics. I read about it. Yes. So we're going to get more and more results like that as we start opening up more research here in the hospitals. And many of the medical practitioners I talk to are hopeful that in the coming years, it's going to become a regular part of medical practice. You'll go to the doctor and you'll have your routine checkup, but you'll also get recommended herbs and supplements that could help you along the way. It could be, but you know what my thought is? How expensive is it? That's a really great question, and I think it's something that will play out in time. And I think it also depends a lot on the specific herbs. Some you can find pretty regularly. You go to the spice market, and it's there, easily available. But not all of them are even legal to import to Israel yet. So mm -hmm. those are going to be more expensive. Shelby, thank you so much for this. And that's all for today. Thank you for uncovering the Holy Land with us. We hope you enjoyed the journey this week. You're welcome to join us again next week for sure. I can promise you that we'll have more stories and a new special tour just for you. I'm Tal Henrik, and I hope to see you again soon.